Hey, Mr. Wayne Buckner, how are you What's doing? What's going buddy? on? Oh, good, Donna. Friday. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me, man. <laughs> how are you doing? I, uh, I'm doing good, doing great, doing great. Now, you know, I got to talk about this, my homie from Wyoming, uh, <laughs> because uh, I'm pretty sure that's not where you're from. But um, just so everybody knows, we are here with uh, Mr. Wayne Buckner, who is actually the writer uh, and arranger and coordinator and arranger and all that kind of stuff. Uh, of my uh, theme song, One More Day, gave you one more day. You just heard it. And I play that every morning, every morning at six o'clock. So I go into the devotion. So it's a great way to get me, get me hyped up and just think, thanking God for one more day. But in that song with the vocals, it says, my homie from Wyoming. Now, what is that about? <laughs> I, I have no idea. That's, that's the Eric Thomas uh, coin statement. I don't know if everybody in Detroit says that, but no, he was just saying, I'm his homeboy, my homie from Wyoming. So I've had people, bond, I guess, maybe. yeah, I've had people every week to be like, you're from Wyoming? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> from New, right. New okay, so tell us where you are from. Okay. I, I was born in New York and I moved to Florida when I was 10. So I kind of claim both of those places. My parents are from Jamaica, so I'm Jamaican. So wow. Wow. all over the place. Now I've lived in Huntsville for most of my life. So wow. I'm, I'm from Huntsville. <laughs> well, we, we want to thank you for being our first artist for this new feature that we're having every Friday, which is New Music Friday. You're the first, and I'm so happy to have Great. you. It's just fitting that you would be here um, as uh, one of the, uh, as the, uh, the writer of my theme song as well. But you are oh. so huge. You got like a big name and you've got some new music coming out. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, but we just, we just want to talk about what you're doing here at Oakley University first so people can get to know you. We have a lot of listeners and some people don't know you, you know, unfortunately. You know, they don't know you. Everybody doesn't know you. Um, but we know you and we know how great you are. So just tell us a little bit of background about you, Wayne. Uh, well, yeah, I'm here at Oakwood. I'm a professor in the music department. I teach piano, and I also direct a jazz ensemble. Um, I'm a writer. I, uh, what else do I do? Like, I do everything. I'm a, I'm a volleyball coach. <laughs> oh, wow. It. Yeah, I, I coach the, um, the varsity at Oakwood Academy. Okay. Um, and, I, you know, I love God. I perform with the Aeolians. I, I'm the accompanist for the Aeolians. Um, privileged to do that. And I think that's about it. Wow. And you have a beautiful family here too, right? I do. I do. Love them to death. I wow. have three kids, Nina, the eldest, uh, BJ, my namesake in the middle, Buckner Jr., and um, Cameron. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta move my mic back and forth. I got to fix that. Maybe I get oh, No problem. <laughs> Um, so first, so we want to talk about your music because that's what we're going to be talking about and hearing your new release in a few minutes. But just, just tell us about your process for coming up with, with new music and writing the lyrics and things like that. Tell us what your process is. Wow. Um, process is always different. Um, I'm usually somebody that's going to be influenced by reading something or hearing something. So it's not like I start writing the music first and then kind of get lyrics later. It's like either having a devotional or hearing some great sermon and just, you know, when I'm hit with a line, you know, like almost like a tweetable moment, you know, for me, that tweet comes with music, you know? So it's like the line and seconds later, if I don't turn off the faucet, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's coming. So um, I just, the words, I marry music to the words, you know, so um, that's how it usually happens for me. Wow. And I remember a couple of years ago when you said you were going to write how many songs in a year? What was oh, it? Oh, man, 365, uh, the song a day. Tried to average a song a day. And you did that. You actually did. I did. I did. I wrote 374. Wow. And this, this single was actually one of them. Wow. So the single that we're going to hear today is one of those songs that came out of that 365 songs yes. that you wrote. So tell One us of my about favorite. the song. Tell us about the song and what's what's behind it. Oh goodness. You know, I was trying to remember. I was just looking at my notes here, trying because I sometimes write the inspiration. I can't remember why I got the hook God covers me exactly. But it was in August of 2015, actually. 
Um, and 2016 is when I did all the songs. But um, that was the reason I was doing all the songs because of my procrastination of years of little ideas. So all I had was that hook, God covers me, God covers me. Yeah. And uh, a month later, I think just thinking about it, uh, the theme of the song, um, it seemed to go with the hymn uh, Under His Wings. Mm. So, um, so the verses for that, uh, I got the verse and I used actually a, 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 an infrequently used verse, verse three um, for that part. Um, Under His Wings, I'm safely abiding. There will I hide till life's trials are o'er. Wow. Um, yeah, so it sounds nothing like the hymn, but I actually got some of the words from, from the hymn. And then this, I would say that this song in that year of writing, it was the most, um, it was the greatest experience. Um, I think it was January, it was January 6th, maybe. It's early in the process, but I already was tired. I was like, God, it's, it's midnight. I can't think of anything. And I know I said I was going to write a song a day, but Lord, this is not temperate. Please, can I go to sleep? You know? <laughs> and it's wow. like, literally, at that point, I felt like God was like, great, you're tired enough for me to just pour into you. Mm. And the whole vamp just comes with chords that I don't usually play. Um, the words are weird to me. <laughs> you know, um, uh, um, was it Here Comes My Rain? Here comes my pain. Here comes my storm. Oh, Lord, wow. oh, Lord. And then God speaks back, hush now, my child. Just come inside. It's nice and warm. Come home, come home. Uh, I'm forgetting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming in like a flood. I'm drowning in a yeah. sea yeah. of blood. You know, that was just like, right. what? I can't write that, God. I don't mm -hmm. feel safe at all. But on you, I call. And then mm -hmm. he says, child, hold on. I am in your storm. Wow. I'll guide you safely through it all. And wow. that was just like, just a download. It wasn't work. Yes. It wasn't anything. It just kind of like played itself. So, well, it's kind of, it's, um, it's very, very fitting for our times that we're going through right now. We, you know, we yeah. need to feel like we're covered and we need to know that we're covered. Yes, yeah, Psalms 91 was another influence. Mm -hmm. The hymn and also that hymn. That hymn. So when, when this started happening, the COVID thing, people kept putting Psalm 91 out. I was like, you know what? I've got to, I've got to get this out for people. Right. It's comfort and encouragement. Well, so. let's go ahead and listen to it. Here it is. Okay, great. Cover me. God covers me. Wayne Buckner. Brand new music on Praise 90.1 FM. Protected, no evil can harm me. Resting in Jesus, I'm safe evermore. God covers me. God covers me.
technical difficulties with that. You know, we're, we're trying to do this virtual thing and it's new for all of us. Um, so the music, um, it came through, but it might've come through twice and maybe been, you know, but I could tell that the song is really, really beautiful. Something that I know is going to comfort me as you know, my mom passed uh, last week and that is really a, a really encouraging song um, for me, I know. So, so you're saying this, thank you. Thank you. So you're saying that this song really just came to you, just flowed just effortlessly. Once you said, you know, Lord, I'm tired. And, and he said, okay, listen, let me think. I'm trying to fix my headset. He said, uh, he said, well, well, maybe now I can flow it into you now that you're tired and you have stopped trying to do it yourself. Sometimes yeah. we got to get to that point right there and know that we're covered by the love of God. I don't know why I'm out of focus now, but um, <laughs> we're covered. And yes, uh, I yes. thank you for that song. I mean, um, oh, praise is, God. Uh, were we the first to release it? Yes, yes. Just you guys, I couldn't do anything without you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for giving us that song. I'm going to play it again um, just on the air so folks can hear it. And um, great. It, Anything else you want to say about, uh, I guess I really want to hear about your ministry and your relationship with God before, you know, because this is really a strong, powerful song, powerful song, and I know that it's encouraging to others. And you got to have a relationship with the Lord to come up with stuff like that and, and not come up with it, but to let him pour through you, right? Yeah, but that's it. It's, it's all about what he does, um, him pouring in. Uh, goodness, I tell people all the time, I don't make the greatest decisions. You know, but I believe in a father that cares, um, a father that uh, will will put you back on the right path. You know, if you've made a wrong decision, not a not an exacting judge that's going to be um, looking out for every mistake that you make, or or um, or is just not caring. You know, um, so that's the father that I know. That's the father that he's been to me my entire life. Just. Uh, deciding career moves or just any deep decision in life. You know, we've got a father that cares. And I think that's what I want people to know um, in, in whatever situation, you know, no matter if you're flying through COVID like, you know, nothing or you've experienced loss or, you know, God is right there in your storm mm -hmm. and, um, and he's covering you. Yes. you may, it may not feel like it, but he's covering you. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's been great. I'm so glad that you were the first one for this edition. They're going to have every of uh, every Friday. Every Friday is going to be a new music Friday, and so we'll have other artists on uh, in the future. But thank you for being our first, and we love you, and we love your music, and you uh, we're just helping you share that ministry all around the world through WJ. Thank you so much. Thanks All right, folks, thank you. That's been Wayne Buckner on Morning Joy. And uh, he is our first artist that we featured for New Music Friday. It's going to be every Friday at 830. I'm going to play the song one more time um, as we go out. And you all can listen to it on 90.1 FM WJOU. Thanks, Wayne. See you. Thank you.